Hey everybody, uh, in this video we're starting with a already uh, picked and gutted lock and you've uh, made your little video and gotten your belt on Reddit and whatnot and now you've got all your pieces and need to put it back together so uh, I've got some other videos showing this but it does seem to come up on a regular basis um, so I'm going to make another one real quick and also demonstrate a common mistake that uh, I've certainly made a lot and uh, I don't know if anybody else ever has but I, I certainly have and uh, so I'll demonstrate that and just something to you know, think about and watch out for is save you a little bit of time and effort. So first thing we're going to do here is we need to load our springs and drivers back into our Bible. So on our Bible, you notice that it's different on one side than the other. There's a little lip here, it's flat here. The flat side is the back, the lip is the front. Now I will say that again, that the lip is the front, the flat side is the back. Uh, if you screw that up and put it back in your lock, uh, you're going to have trouble opening your lock. Uh, it may not open at all and you've got a nice paperweight. So um, make sure that you got the lip on the front. So what we're going to do here uh, on these locks, uh, padlocks in general, especially Americans, the springs aren't very long. So what I tend to do is I tend to just drop all my springs in at the same time. And another thing to watch out for, these are drilled six. They come five. So this is the back of the plug. You do not want to put a spring or anything in the last hole on the back because that's your sixth hole and you do not have a sixth key pin unless you uh, lock, came with one or you added one. And that's usually not the case. And uh, I'm trying to do this here with the camera. So, okay, so I've got all five springs in. You see they're so short you can't even see them, so I'm going to look at the top and make sure I've got them in the right holes. And again, making sure there's not one in the last hole right here, hole number uh, chamber six. All right, now <clears throat> this next step here he's going to do is take a follower, a uh, nice little notch in it, makes this uh, a lot easier. Take my uh, driver that's going to be in number five and just count back to the fifth one because you, you do not want to put one in the sixth one. And just going to drop it in, push it down while sliding the follower over it. And I'm going to keep going sliding forward. I'm trying to use the follower here to get it lined up over the hole. Push down, slide over it. And just keep going here until got all five of them loaded. And you can get pinning tweezers. Um, I've got some. I don't like them. These tweezers I have here are from Harbor Freight, and I actually like them a lot better than actual pinning tweezers, believe it or not. So, all right, now that that's done, we take our key, and we want to reassemble our drivers here. And um, there's a mistake I've, I'm going to make here, just to show you something. So, care okay, putting in, and they should be the same order they came out. So, I don't know if you can already uh, spot the mistake here besides me dropping that one and losing it. There it is. So, here we got all in here. Now, we already noticed here is you want them flush. We noticed number one, to focus here, number one is flush, see two is too far down and three is too far up so that's we know that's not right, it's not going to go back into the uh, plug with that one too far up and if you have one too far down your driver's going to fall in it and your keys and he's not going to turn you up to pick the lock to get it open so we notice that's a, that's a mistake there so I'm going to dump those two out and hopefully I just reversed them okay so now two's flush Okay, now three is flush, and you can kind of look at the key too, and you see the deeper cuts need the longer pins. So, just load them up here. <clears throat> just one mistake you can make that's uh, easy, easy, easy to spot and pretty easy to correct. All right, so now we know we've got them all flush, and we're good to go there. So now we're going to take our 
thing I'm going to notice our lip on the Bible is to the front. Make sure our key turns and crucial step here. You want to put your thumb on it before you pull the key out. And we're going to put our clip on. All right, let's assemble now. I'm going to just show you real quick here. Um, if you screw up, there's one of just taking the clip off. So there's no clip on it. And I say we just have just sucked this back in, tested it, it works. No clip on it, forgot to put my thumb, and you pull, and you have a uh, mess on your hands. Just drivers, springs, dumped everywhere. So that's really important that you do put your thumb over it before you pull it out so you don't uh, end up with a mess and just have to redo it. And, you know, No big deal, you just have to redo it, and you know, usually won't mangle any springs, but you certainly can. That's just something that I've done a bunch and just something to watch out for. Now I'm going to, uh, I don't have a bypass plate. If I did, it would put it over here. This lot didn't come with any, and I don't care to add any because these are just for picking, so it doesn't really matter to me. So we see our actuator in there. Got our plug goes over the actuator. Okay, turn it to the, to the, uh, the to our right. Put our bottom plate. Nut. And screw. Another thing to watch out for with these is you just have to hand tighten it to where it's not going to turn anymore and then just snug it up. Okay, you don't want to over crank these because you can actually shear or screw off in the nut and you know I've done that before you can get them out not a big deal but you have to find another screw to put in. So <clears throat> before I close the shackle I want to test it and make sure that it is actually turning. Since it is actually turning if I've got the uh, front of the Bible on the front then we should be good to go so we can lock it back right out opens and uh, that's our padlock uh, put back together and uh, thanks for watching um, if you want to like and subscribe this maybe share it this, this uh, video is not just my normal picking videos this one actually may help somebody so we will uh, talk to everybody later